There's controversy tonight at Suffolk City Hall over questionable spending. The city says they're canning a technology project they've already pumped more than $1 million into. But some say the project and all that money can be saved. All new at 5, 10 of your sides, Joe Fisher is tracking your taxpayer dollars tonight. He's live in the newsroom with details. Joe? Nicole, a million bucks out the window? Well, maybe. All for a computer program designed to bill and receive payment for personal property and real estate taxes in Suffolk. But the city says the program is not working. It hasn't been working. And they plan on suing the company. It's been perhaps the most um, uh, morally deflating uh, event that I have seen in the 33 years that I've been treasurer of the city. PCI is the computer software system the city of Suffolk invested in back in 2010. It's taken five years to get the program ready for launch, and now the city is pulling the plug. We've invested uh, over a million dollars of taxpayer dollars in it. That's money, along with time and effort, city treasurer Ron Williams says was all for nothing. Today, Chief of Staff Debbie George told 10 on your side the program didn't perform how it was supposed to back when it was sold to the city. Now the city plans to take legal action against PCI for their losses. But Williams argues much differently. It's been tested and vetted. It's being used in other Virginia localities very effectively. Williams says the program is ready to go. Are there some problems? He says yes, but problems that can be fixed. The company has offered to come in and be of assistance in any way to the city that, uh, that we need them to be to resolve the remaining issues. Williams is now working to get other city officials, including city council members, to understand his view that it's cheaper and more effective to fix the current problems than it is to start all over. Do you think that if the city does scrap it, they have a responsibility to explain to the people of Suffolk why they're wasting so much money. Oh, absolutely. And William says that explanation needs to come from this city council. They ultimately have the final word, he says, and he's asked the city council to take a look at this issue before choosing to completely start over. As far as the lawsuit, the company PCI in this letter right here defends their software and still wants to work out the issue with the city. We're going to stay on this. The, the PCI has actually requested a meeting with the city. No word on if the city will take that meeting. We're going to continue to stay on this story and we'll let you know what we find out. We're live in the news. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.